right today I'm going to talk about uh, how you can get carbon rods for free uh, without spending a penny um, and um, why carbon rods um, carbon rod is uh, a very useful material it's a very good electrical conductor and it's very heat resistant meaning you can heat it up real hot red hot and it doesn't melt uh, it is graphite and um, is the next best thing to diamond if you rearrange it in a different way uh, it will become diamond but um, it is graphite and because it is a good electrical conductor and a heat very heat resistant uh, we use it in welding so um, my plan is to use the carbon rod to make a, uh, a melting furnace uh, so I can melt metal say um, I have a bowl here probably metal bricks so that it can you know, withstand the heat and then I got two carbon rods here connected to my welder and then um, it's hot enough to melt metal such as aluminum zinc or lead so I just throw a whole bunch of aluminum in my furnace and then use my say assume this is carbon rod and I'm gonna get it from this battery here so I'm just gonna use my welder connect to my carbon rod and um, heat it up like put it together and produce an arc the arc is hot enough to melt everything in this bowl all the aluminum zinc or lead uh, it might be even hot enough to melt iron if you if you heat it long enough but uh, it's a lot harder to melt iron but it will melt aluminum just fine but anyway that's another project so back to my batteries so the carbon rods you can salvage from these battery dead or alive and I got a whole bunch of these for free from the uh, you know most of the recycling center uh, or you can go to Walgreen where they recycle uh, dead batteries or um, Home Depot Lowe's and I got a whole bag of these uh, batteries all kinds of different kinds of batteries and you want to look for uh, carbon zinc battery these double A and triple A I'll show you the triple A these double A and triple A batteries they're mostly not carbon zinc they're mostly alkaline and mostly Duracell and Energizer make this alkaline batteries um, there's no carbon in these batteries what you want to look for is you want to look for carbon zinc battery and usually they put this outside of the battery heavy duty battery same here this is made by ever ready super heavy duty I'm not sure what I can salvage from here because most of these are alkaline most of the 9 volts battery are alkaline batteries and uh, but I'm gonna I'm just gonna open up and see what we can find in this kind of battery I don't think uh, there's carbon rod in these batteries same here energizer and also uh, these lantern 6 volt battery that you use in these flashlights this kind of battery so inside here there are four diesel battery probably a little bit longer 
and um, they also carbon zinc. They, they are made by Radiovac or Everready, mostly. Uh, there are some Panasonic um, batteries, also carbon zinc battery. Right, I'm ready to open one of these and uh, when you deal with these kind of battery you should wear some gloves because they are corrosive so let's see what we got in here Pretty nasty inside this thing. That. Is a carbon rod. It's pretty fragile. Um, it's easy to break. So when you pull off, you're gonna be careful. There you go. That's the rod. Half more there. Just be patient. Almost there. Right. So here's the rock. And look how much mess I made to get this rod out. All this gunky black thing. But uh, here's the rod, it's a pretty nice rod. They sell these at the welding shop. And um, but why spend money to buy it when you can get it for free? Right? Best thing in life. Uh, sometimes for free. And uh, next, I'm gonna get out this battery. And I'm gonna see what we can get out of this 9 volts. Usually, when it say heavy duty, it is not alkaline. I hope it is not alkaline. And uh, this one is for sure, it's carbon zinc battery. And usually, when it is carbon zinc battery, it will say no mercury and no this one doesn't say anything let's see what it says here uh, so I do not open the battery oh, this one doesn't say anything all right Let's see. Yeah, usually it says no mercury or no cadmium or something like that. But next, uh, this one here 
has a carbon rod in it too, but it's going to be smaller rod than this. What I'm curious is what we can we can find in these battery. So I'm going to open this up next. All right, so got my nine volt battery here. Um, oh, here you go. Zero cadmium, zero mercury. These energizer, they are alkaline batteries, so there's absolutely no carbon rod in these. But because this doesn't say if it's alkaline, so let's see. Let's see. I'm curious to see what we got in here. By the way, um, these 9 volt battery, they have this top part where you can use it to make 9 volt terminals. So just peel it off like that and now you can get a free terminal to connect to other 9 volt batteries if you need to have terminals out of this. So I'm going to use that for another project. But this is alkaline. See this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 cells stacked together. Each cell is 1.5 volt alkaline. So even though it says heavy duty out here, it is alkaline, so it is useless for me. Some of the 9 volt battery inside here, there are 6 of the, uh, I believe, 6 of the quadruple A. This is triple. I believe they are quad six of the four A batteries, but not these, not the alkaline. So there's nothing in the alkaline. All right, so I also have this double A, I mean triple A, heavy duty battery, Chinese made, oh Thailand made in Thailand and because it doesn't say it is alkaline so I'm also curious Let's see what's in here I'm a curious cat so let's open it up see what we got By the way, this battery is still good. Hopefully it doesn't explode on me. Still got energy. Still energized. Ooh, I just broke it. It is carbon rod, but I just broke it. Oh, this is, this is so sad. Look at that. That's a carbon rod. Did you hear a crack? Like, I just broke it. I'm so sad. See that? This is a carbon rod right here. So, when it says heavy duty on the outside and it doesn't say alkaline, it is possibly a carbon zinc battery like this one so let me clean up this mess and show you carbon rod it's got a gooey thing white thing on here I just lost my carbon rod That's why you gotta be 
real careful when you open this up so it's just like that just pull it out but I just did it too hard clean up this white gooey thing here's the rock it's nice rock small but it's nice compared to this let me get the rest of it out or maybe not see how long it's gonna be probably the same length as this Alright, so I've got it almost out here, I'm just going to pull it out, to get the rest, here you go, a bit longer than the other one, Bring that up here, There you go. So it should have been this long, which I broke it. There you have it carbon rod from a triple A. Heavy duty battery. Right, I got a couple more of the triple A. I'm gonna do a. I'm gonna open this up. See what we got. Hopefully, I got this intact. Um, see, these are uh, East Power. Never heard of this name before, but it says super heavy duty battery, and it doesn't say if it's alkaline or not. It just say no lead, no mercury, and no cadmium. So I'm gonna open this up next. Hopefully, I can retrieve the carbon rod. And uh, these are cheap Chinese made battery. Similar. This one is similar, but it says alkaline. Alkaline. So probably inside this battery is just like this. There's no absolutely no carbon. But this one hopefully has it. So let's open it up next. It's a heavy duty, super heavy duty battery. There's a metal casing on the outside, and there's another metal casing on the inside. It's like a bulletproof battery. Yeah. That means that there's less battery material inside this battery. No wonder why it's so cheap. See, there's a metal casing on the outside, and then there's a plastic casing, and there's another metal casing. So most of these are just metal. Not a lot of battery material in this thing. That's why it doesn't last so long. And that's why it's so cheap. It might weigh the same. Or even whoa! See, that's what I talk about. That's scary, isn't it? Not sure you can see that on camera. Probably my camera caught it. That is scary. It's only 1.2 volts, 1.5 volt actually. That is freaky. Only one volt. 
Alright, gotta be more careful here. Where am I? Oh, I forgot. I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> Woo! Wow. I am sweating. I didn't expect that. At all. See, this battery is still new. So it's fully jars it's full of juice. Scare me. Ah, this one is carbon zinc. Shot this out again. That doesn't feel good. Here's the cap. Hmm. What can I do with this? Save it for later. I love trash. You know, I hate to throw away things. See if we can get it out like this. Maybe you have to peel it some more. Right, so I almost got it out. And here it is. Ooh. Alright. That's good. Just fall out just like that. This plastic thingy. There you go. Let's see what we got. There you go, one nice carbon bond. Here it is. Here's the broken one earlier. I could have gotten a pair now. This is the next best thing to diamond. So if you have a way to rearrange the carbon in this structure, which is called graphite. You can make diamond out of this. Right, so I got my two carbon electrodes here. Now I can call it electrodes. Now it's out of the battery. Uh, I've got this 18650 battery and it's 4 volts. And uh, let's see if we can produce an arc. Ready? You see an arc? It's smoking. This film is not so good for your health, no. See that? Alright, I can produce an arc, but 4 volt is not going to be good enough, so let's try something else. Alright, so I've got my car battery ready, and let's see what it can do with a 12 volt battery. Alright. 
it's burning the material inside the battery you can see the smoke and the fire but uh, carbon doesn't burn like that let me clean it up first mm, the smell is pretty nasty I'll be right back alright so I just turned my fan on and um, to blow away the fumes and I have to wear sunglasses because it is so bright that uh, it may damage your eyes so let's try again see what we got so when I remove these from the uh, AAA battery there are some residue and stuff on it and that's why it's burning like that but the carbon rod shouldn't burn it just light up red hot but it shouldn't burn let's try again ready I can't see I'm wearing sunglasses inside See that? Isn't that cool? Wow, this is real bright. As you can see, the carbon is red hot, but it doesn't melt. That's why uh, we use this in uh, melt in uh, welding electrodes. And this thing is smoking from the uh, gooey thing from the battery, from a triple A battery. Anyway, all right, it was smoking real bad, so I have to go outside to do this. And uh, I got my big rod from the. Uh, the D size battery and it's quite dirty and um, it's gonna burn and smoke a lot when I do this but uh, oh well I can't clean it out yeah I should have done this outside in the first place but it's dark out here and it's raining <clears throat> and it's wet so that's the reason why I did it inside but uh, it smoked real bad so let's try this again It's really bright, it's low, red, hot. See that? It's burning my thingy, my wire so hot all right try one more time yeah the, the smoke is real bad I don't want to smell it hold up I'll be right back all right let's try it one more time
so bright. All right, so there you have it. Uh, it produced so much fumes, noxious fumes, that I had to run away. But uh, here they are, as you can see. Uh, it's unscathed. I mean, it's still intact. Nothing melts, except that the material on the top of the rod is smoking real bad, but the rod itself is intact. And there's a little bit of white thing on it, but other than that, it's still good to go. And um, my plan is to uh, make a foundry to melt aluminum and zinc. And uh, to do that, I need a welder, an arc welder, and use this as electrode to uh, melt the metals but the 12 volt battery just for demonstration it's not gonna do anything it's hot enough to glow this red hot but um, it's not hot enough might be three or four car battery in series to produce 36 or 48 volts that might be hot enough to melt metal and I'm gonna do that in the next video with my welder to make a metal foundry to melt aluminum and um, that's it for now and um, this thing it uh, it produced an arc so bright that uh, before the incandescent light was invented they would use uh, in light bulbs but it's not in uh, in the light bulbs anymore there's not much use of this except in welding, that's why they sell these in the, uh, the welding shop. Alright, that's it for now, and uh, thank you for watching.